Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. For many people, the birth of a child is a well-planned and long-awaited moment of joy. But unfortunately, this is not the case for everyone. In 1998, a woman who was running with her dog found a newborn baby buried alive in the vicinity of Altadena, with its umbilical cord still attached. The offspring, just a few hours old, was about to die from suffocation and malnutrition. For decades, that woman, named Azita Melanian, wondered what happened to the boy after taking him to the police, recovering in a Pasadena hospital, and being put up for adoption. Well, just a few months ago, specifically 20 years after that fortuitous encounter, the two met again. I've been waiting for you for 20 years, Melanian said sobbing as she hugged Matthew Whitaker. On Saturday night, May 16, 1998, Azita Melanian was running with her dogs in Southern California. Her friends asked her to go dancing, but she didn't want to. During the race, one of the dogs suddenly stopped and started digging. When Azita looked to see what her dog had found, she was surprised to see two small feet sticking out of the ground. Azita assumed the boy was dead, but then, unexpectedly, he started crying. She quickly dug up the newborn, who still had its umbilical cord dangling from its belly button. Please don't you die, she told the baby, according to the Los Angeles Times. I'll never leave you. I love you. The boy had not only been dumped there, but had also been buried alive. He grabbed my wrist and stopped crying, said Azita. It was very emotional. What kind of person could have done such a terrible thing to a newborn baby? Azita rushed the little boy to the hospital, where he received immediate care. His body temperature was a deadly low 27 degrees Celsius, but he survived. Authorities tried to find the person who abandoned the boy, whom the hospital nurses named Christian, but they couldn't find anything. Police received an anonymous call a month later from a woman claiming to be the mother. She asked what the punishment would be, but then hung up. The authorities suspected that the mother was very young and probably panicked after giving birth and threw the child away. Azita tried to keep up to date on how Christian was doing, but it was no longer possible once the boy was adopted. Azita dreamed that one day she'd see him again, but the years went by and she didn't know anything in 20 years. Fortunately, Christian was adopted into a good family who cared for and loved him and named him Matthew and kept Christian as his middle name. It wasn't until Matthew was 17 that he discovered that his parents were not his biological parents. When he was 20 years old, a radio program learned Matthew's story, contacted him, and asked if he would consider conducting a DNA test and releasing the results. He agreed, and the radio producers also invited Azita, who they discovered while researching the story. The reunion was wonderful, and Azita could finally breathe a sigh of relief, knowing that the baby that she saved so many years ago had been adopted by a good family. Matthew said he couldn't imagine a better education than the one he received. I'm here today. I've lived a great life, Matthew told the Los Angeles Times. I was adopted into a great family. I couldn't ask my parents for more. The day of the meeting was Matthew's birthday, and Azita took him to the place where she'd found him 20 years earlier. The moment Azita and Matthew recognized the place that could have been his grave was very emotional. How lucky Azita found Matthew that day. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't have survived. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.